So YouTube, Team Keep It Clean, the wait is finally over and it took a turn that a lot of us didn't see coming. Yesterday it was said that the Cleveland Browns were completely out removed uh, from the Deshaun Watson just saga. Uh, but apparently the Cleveland Browns, they kept trying and trying and trying. And I respect them for not giving up. That's a very good attitude to have just in life, period. Uh, and they didn't give up. And them not giving up, it ended up paying off. And they literally, like, paid Deshaun Watson off because... He is going to be traded to the Cleveland Browns. The compensation hasn't come out as of the recording of this video, but he is getting a new deal. He's getting a five year. And, and this is the part like whenever we talk about contracts, you always got to look at the guaranteed money. You always got to look at that because that's the most important thing, because that's the money that the player gets no matter what. But it says this contract is fully guaranteed. Fully guaranteed five-year, $230 million contract. Fully guaranteed. So Cleveland is literally all in on Deshaun Watson. Oh, and, and just to give you a quick reminder of the average per year, it's 46 mil. 46 mil per. 46 mil. <laughs> That's a lot of money. That's a whole lot of money. <laughs> I love this, though, especially me being a Ravens fan. I, I, I love this because this Baker Mayfield was straight now. And he gave the Ravens some problems, especially recently. But now with Deshaun Watson, ooh, with Deshaun Watson, like you got Deshaun Watson, you got Lamar Jackson, you got Joe Burrow, and you got Mitch Trubisky. But the AFC North is is shaping up to be really, really fun, really, really fun. And Cleveland, they just got that much better. And now I'm sure they will have given up a lot. A whole lot. Um, but when you if you can get a guy who you know he can play, you know he can bowl, he might be a little rusty early on, but you know what you're getting in Deshaun Watson on the field. They went for it and they got it. Now with Baker Mayfield, wow, we did a video yesterday talking about how Baker Mayfield can never, ever, ever play for the Browns again. <laughs> but this really makes that official. Um, and you know that, and I said it in yesterday's video, we did another video talking about how the Browns, they waived Baker Mayfield's no trade clause, but I said that was just not true. I, I knew they weren't going to do that, but this is before Deshaun Watson, but I felt like when, when they came out with the information that they waived Baker Mayfield's no trade clause, that they were just really trying to get somebody to up their offer for Baker Mayfield. But now we can see why. They probably knew that they had an in with Deshaun Watson, so they're like, hey, we... We got to get something for Baker. And before this whole deal is announced, we have to try to get as much as we possibly can for Baker Mayfield because with the Browns taking on Deshaun Watson, that, lower, that lowers uh, Baker Mayfield's value to other teams who may want to take on Baker Mayfield. Reason being, because the Browns not only are taking on Deshaun Watson, but they're paying him. So Baker Mayfield's got to go. He has to leave. Like the Browns are not going to keep him at all. So when teams know that, they're like, okay, well, he'll either get released or we can trade him for even cheaper than we may have traded for him before. Now, who's going to trade for him? And this is, this is crazy because I was really thinking that it was going to – first, initially, I thought it was going to be the Saints. I'm like, you know, Saints, they going all out. They creating all this cap space. They got a nice roster, really nice defense. They got some nice pieces on offense too. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's going to be the Saints. And when it was announced that it was between the Falcons and the Saints, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be the Saints. Because Saints get a quarterback? Ooh. But then, uh, I didn't even know that Deshaun Watson was from Atlanta. And I was like, ooh, okay. And Atlanta, they, they put Matt Ryan on hold. They were like, hey, Matt Ryan, that whole bonus that we owe you, let's put it on hold till Tuesday, till we get this whole Deshaun Watson thing worked out. And Matt Ryan was like, okay, cool. That's fine. I'll do it. I understand. Uh, so <laughs> Matt Ryan, he probably wants to get out of uh, Atlanta. And I would, I would not be surprised at all if they trade him too. I think if he could go to the Colts, I think that would be decent. Um, but we'll see. Now, uh, and, and I thought when, when that whole thing came out about all the, the rappers and all that, like Migos was, they said Migos was hitting Deshaun Watson up and they said some other people too. But a lot of people from Atlanta, a lot of the stars from Atlanta, they were hitting Deshaun Watson up like, hey, you got to come through. I was thinking, oh, okay, well, maybe it won't be the same. Maybe it actually will be uh, the Falcons. 
All the meanwhile, Cleveland in the background. Cleveland in the background, like, oh, yeah. And you know what? In fact, I was actually initially so convinced. I was so convinced that Deshaun Watson was going to be going to the Saints. I had already made a thumbnail and all. Made a thumbnail and all about Deshaun Watson going to the Saints. <laughs> That's garbage now. That's garbage. Cleveland said, hey, throw that away. Throw it all the way away. Um, and this is, oh, that's crazy, man. I'm still trying to... Uh, Look for the. I'm still trying to look for the comp, the compensation. Like, what are they trading? Uh, but either way, it's it, that, that'll come out when it comes out. It's all good. Uh, but Deshaun Watson gets nice running. Uh, oof, the offensive, the offensive line he's going to. It's like, oh, he got a nice offensive line. So he's straight there. As long as they stay healthy, he's straight. He got a real nice offensive line. Then his running backs. He he comes into the situation with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Oh, like <laughs> he just and that's probably why he chose the, the Browns because he know the Browns every year they go all out in free agency they do this that and the third every year um so they just they traded for Amari Cooper now of course um uh Rashad Higgins he's going they cut Jarvis Landry and of course we know what happened with Odell Beckham Jr. But they traded for Amari Cooper. They franchise tag David Njoku. Now, at, at wide receiver, I don't know what they're going to do. But you know they're going to do something. I think they still got Donovan Peoples-Jones. Uh, Austin, Hooper, Austin Hooper just signed with the Titans, I think. Yeah, one-year, $6 million deal. Um, but, yeah, Deshaun Watson, that, they'll get him some more wide receivers. They will for sure. Whether it's through the draft, whether it's through free agency. And I think it'll definitely be a healthy mix of both. And they definitely got their options. They definitely got their options. What what if they sign Julio? What if they sign Julio? That would be a very Browns move. You, you, you know it would it wouldn't stop there if they did. Um, but you know Brady he trying to get Julio, so we'll see what happens with him. But this is exciting. This is exciting. Um, I was just talking to one of my boys earlier today, and again I was telling him like, oh yeah, Deshaun Watson probably gonna decide between Atlanta and New Orleans like today. Uh, but <laughs> I was at least half right. He decided today, but it was neither team in Cleveland. Wow, with the okie doke. So Baker Mayfield, um, very, very great timing with his thank you Cleveland letter. Very, very great timing just to prepare the fan base for life without Baker Mayfield. Um, AFC North. AFC North. This, again, everybody going to have to step it up that much more. All of these teams have so much to prove. Reason I say that, you look at the Bengals. They just came from the Super Bowl. All that pressure is on them. Now, if I was a Bengals fan, I wouldn't be complaining like, okay, yeah, we got a lot of pressure on us because we just came from the Super Bowl. Would you not want that pressure? Like, obviously, the pressure that you would have rathered if the Bengals would have won the Super Bowl than the pressure on going back again. But they got there, so they know they can get there. They know they can get there with their team, their quarterback, their coaching, all that good stuff. They know they can do it, but now can you do it again? How do you do the follow-up? And they've been working on what was the biggest issue for them, their uh, offensive line protection for Joe Burrow. So we'll see what happens. Um, now, then the Browns. Browns are like, okay, we got Deshaun Watson. Pressure's on them too. You getting rid of Baker Mayfield, bringing in Deshaun Watson, giving him that fully guaranteed deal? Oh, yeah, the pressure's on because you made a huge move at quarterback that you obviously hope pays off in a big way. Because, again, you paid for it in a big way, so you hope it pays off uh, in a big way. And when you make a monumental deal like this, yeah, that's you saying, oh, yeah, we all in. But, again, Browns say they all in every year with the way they do, they do the offseason. The Ravens, they whole team was just traumatized by injuries last year. Traumatized by it. It was so ugly. But the Ravens, they got a lot, a lot to prove, too. Everybody coming back healthy. Lamar Jackson, you know he wants it more than anything. And, hey, it's time to show it. Let's get it. So Ravens got a lot to prove. And then with the Steelers, Steelers going to be right there in the thick of things too. In the AFC, no, they always are. They always are. And I, we may make jokes here and there about Mitch Trubisky, but the Steelers, they're they going to be right there in the thick of things. Like always. It always goes down like that. But I just, I, 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 I love this, man. I love this because the AFC North is ooh, it's gonna be a dog fight, but it's gonna be a show too. It's gonna be a show, and these offenses they are going to be trying to light it up. 
I guess the Browns, they were a little jealous of the AFC West because AFC West, they've been having these crazy trades and these big time signings and all this and all that. Like every single day, Browns were sitting back like, man, we just we franchise tag David Njoku. Uh, we cut uh, Austin Hooper. Uh, yeah, we traded for Amari Cooper last week. Ah, that's that's so last week. That's so old. We Amari Cooper's old news. Nobody's excited over that anymore. We need a, a Browns offseason. We offered Jadavian Clowney a, a two-year, $24 million deal that he's thinking about. Mm, but what can we do to shake up the world? What, how can we shake up the NFL? Ah, you know, oh, you know what? Let's go get Deshaun Watson. And yeah. So, <laughs> Ooh, this is crazy, man. This is crazy, but I love it. I love it because, again, it, it makes makes the AFC North that much tougher. So every single one of these four teams in the North going to have to step up their game that much more. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with the updates in the NFL. And we out.